Hey guys, this is Dylan here with Ellis Home and Garden in Longview. I hope everyone's having a great morning. I'm super excited, guys. I've got a few announcements that I'm going to talk to you about, and we've got some sales happening this week that are really going to be beneficial to everyone uh, to really get you jump started on your holiday decor. So I can't wait to share all of those with you. So first thing I want to say, guys, is over the past few um, weeks, I guess, during the videos, I've had a few comments about what's going on with me and what's going on with my relationship with Ellis, guys. Well, I want to let you know that I will not be working at the Ellis stores, you know, um, on a daily basis anymore, but I'm happy to announce that I will still be partnering with Ellis, guys, to do their videos on Tuesdays at 10, so I'm still here. I'm still ready to have fun every Tuesday at 10, guys, to showcase their fabulous, beautiful products. I mean, especially now that the Christmas season is getting close, I cannot wait to show you everything that we have to offer here at Ellis. Um, but I'm going to be pursuing my own business, guys, Designs by Dylan. And you can find me on Facebook at Designs by Dylan, D-Y-L-A-N. I'd love for you to check me out, guys. I'm going to have a lot of great things going on uh, on my page, so I can't wait to see all of you there. But just so that answers your question, guys, I'll be here every Tuesday still at 10 o'clock partnering with Ellis, guys, to showcase, again, their beautiful products for the Christmas season. And I cannot wait to show you what we have um, upcoming for um, the spring and summer seasons also. So let me get my computer loaded, honey, so I can see everybody's names and comments. Um, Dina is out again this week. She's had some things going on that she wanted to take care of. So I'm flying solo, honey. So if the camera falls down, yeah, I'm so sorry. I'll try and fix it. But let me get this loaded so I can see everybody's comments. We're going to be doing a Christmas wreath today. This is something I put off until the first, almost the first of November. So that way you're kind of, your, your Halloween decorations are coming down to a close and you can actually focus on this and take the guidance and skills that I'm going to give you guys and apply them to your wreaths or your designs at your home um, or your business and make a beautiful Christmas wreath. And I'm going to show you how you can do it without breaking the budget because y'all know I'm all about balling on a budget. All right, let me load this up so I can see. Here we go. And guys, everything we're using today can be found on ellishomeandgarden.com. So make sure you check us out on our website because we've got lots of beautiful products. And um, we've got everything from floral to ribbon to decor, um, everything you need to decorate your home or your business for the holidays. Hmm, this computer is running a little slow today. Let me see. I feel like I'm checked out and I don't see it. Hey, Dina, how are you? Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Kelly and Patricia. All right, guys, so let's get started on our Christmas wreath. This is a 24-inch Scot Scotch pine wreath. You know, every week we have an item of the week that is uh, discounted 50% off, so that's great savings. So this particular wreath is only $10. The reason I chose a 24-inch wreath instead of a 30-inch wreath is because once you add product and material on your wreath, again, it changes the dimension. So your width, your length, your height, it all changes. And you can actually take a smaller wreath, add material to it to, you know, elongate it, make it longer, and really fill out the place you're going to put it, especially if it's on your door um, or above your mantle. Sometimes you're limited on space. And with this size wreath, it's really going to work out super well. Okay? Hey, Nadia. Hey, Melinda. Hey, Betty. All right, guys. So, first thing we want to do is start out with ribbon. Remember, ribbon really is a game changer when it comes to designing, whether you're doing an arrangement, a wreath, or a garland. So I chose three different ribbons today that are not so traditional. You know, when you think of Christmas, a lot of people think of red and green and gold, which is fine, but honey, that is boring sometimes. So we wanna change it up and give you something a little bit flashy today. And one of my favorite colors to incorporate um, into your designs for Christmas is gonna be champagne and brown. Champagne, or if you wanna call it platinum, is very eye-catching, it's loud, it's elegant, and it's rich. And you know, I ain't rich by any means, but honey, I might get this on my tree and people might come in and say, God, you know, he's got some money. And so that's what we're gonna go with today, okay? So, I picked three different ribbons. Um, let me throw them on the floor for you. I picked three different ribbons, guys. I picked this smaller one and a half inch champagne ribbon. It's got glitter all over it. Then I picked to split up all the champagne and to really, um, you know, make a difference. I picked up this brown, which has got chocolate swirls all through it. So it's one of my favorites. And then I have this one here that's got champagne in a lighter silver color and a lighter gold color mixed in, and it's kind of on a burlap background. So these are three of my favorite ribbons that we're gonna use to make a bow, which is the first step on the wreath. Hey, Josie. Debbie, yes, you'll have to check it out, girl. I had a great time. Um, my house is finally done. You know, that's my mom's house, and so me and Josh are moving um, November the 15th. 
So I'm gonna get to decorate all over again. So I get to start from scratch, a blank slate. Seriously, there's nothing in there. We went and picked out furniture. I'm gonna go with more of grays and navies and maybe a touch of accent gold, okay? So just a little bit of gold, not too much. Um, but I'm super excited to have that blank slate that me and Josh can, you know, decorate together. Well, I mean, I can decorate, but he can sit on the couch and watch and give his two cents, um, you know, and uh, really just make that home ours. So that's super exciting. Let me take the plastic off. Hey, Dale. Hey, Allison. Hey, Melissa. And again, guys, Dina is out today. So I'm flying solo. So if my head's not in the picture or the camera falls down, y'all just leave a comment so I know <laughs> that everything is going good. Okay? All right. So I'm going to hand tie these bows today. And I'm going to slow down so everyone gets a look at how I do it. Um, you can definitely use Pro Bow the Hand, guys. And you can find that on our website at ellishomelandgarden.com. It makes bows so beautiful and you know if you can't tie them because your hands won't allow you to or your hands hurt from tying so many at a time definitely get that product it's definitely great and you will see me continue to use it but since I'm not since Dina's not here today to hold the camera to show you what I'm doing I'm going to do this by hand because I can show you easier that way hey Carla hey Wanda all right guys so we're going to start with this one and a half inch and we're going to put this on top of the bow so it's going to be a stack bow with three ribbons and we're gonna start with this one, okay? If you guys have started your Christmas decor, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Okay, so we're gonna drop it to the ground and we're gonna start making our loops, okay? So I'm gonna do about three loops with this particular ribbon, and the loops are gonna be about 12 inches long in length, okay? And you wanna make sure when doing it by hand that you twist after each loop, and what that does is it puts the ribbon back on the right side, and so you can see it a lot better. Okay, so we've done three loops is all. We're gonna take our scissors and trim off the rest of that ribbon, okay? And I'm going to just slide it out of the way so I don't trip and face plant. Oh, I'll have to take a message. Oh, a lot of people said that they're getting ready for Christmas. That's super exciting, y'all know it's my favorite time. Um, next, I think Wednesday is Halloween. So on Tuesday, I told y'all, okay, to, I told y'all, I'm going to, um, I'm going to dress up in Morticia's wig. <laughs> this should be entertaining, so y'all stay tuned for next Tuesday. It's going to be the Halloween episode here at Ellis, and I will do a Halloween demonstration maybe, and I will wear a Halloween costume. I'll dress as Morticia. <laughs> so y'all stay tuned for that because it's going to be super fun. Hey, Marsha. Hi, Candy. All right. So now we're going to go back with the brown in between because we want the brown to, to separate the two champagne colors that we're using. Hey, Lakin. <laughs> she says she cannot wait. Girl, I'm kind of nervous, honey. I mean, when I put that wig on, you never know what's gonna come out, but um, it's all gonna be fine, I promise, okay? I hadn't even told Ellis about that yet, so if they're watching, you know, I'm gonna be Morticia next Tuesday. <laughs> hey, Julie. All right, so I'm gonna do four loops, guys, with the brown, and again, I'm doing that in between the two champagne ribbons to split them up so you can really see the difference between all the ribbons. Okay, so once you get those four loops done, Grab your scissors, go ahead and trim that off, just like that, just slide it out of the way. And now I'm gonna come back with my third and final ribbon, which is this uh, crisscross. It's both champagne, gold, and a little bit of silver on here. So I'm gonna go back underneath with this one, and I'm just gonna do two loops, one on each side, okay? Now remember, you know, when doing a wreath, you want your ribbon and your materials to be proportionate to the size of the wreath. Even though when you add ingredients and materials, you know it changes the dimensions, you still have to be careful and not put a massive object or item on a, such a small wreath because it won't be, um, it'll be unproportionate and you don't want that, okay? So keep that in mind. Same thing with your ribbon. I wouldn't put a massive bow up here because it's just not going to be, you know, in proportion with the wreath. Hey, Mary. Hey, Rhonda. Guys, don't forget also, I'm super excited because we have our wreath retreat coming up here in Longview, Texas. It's November 1st through the 4th, and we would love for you to be a part of it. I'm going to be there um, with Jackie and with um, Terry Marshall. We've got lots of other great guests that are going to be there, guys. And we're going to be showing you how to do um, mesh wreaths, grapevine wreaths, and I'm going to be doing a floral arrangement, guys. So if you have bought your ticket already, which if you haven't, please go to JackiesWreaths.com and get that ticket, guys, because seating is limited. And you want to head over to ellishomelandgarden.com and go into Shop by Department 
and you go to designer arrangements and purchase your um, arrangement kit that I put together at fifty dollars because the great thing about this retreat is it's a make and take so you get to make with us whatever we demonstrate and take it with you so I'm super excited again November 1st through the 4th um, that is uh, not this coming weekend but the next weekend so I hope to see you all there hey Ashley thanks so much boo all right, so here's our bow. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna alternate the tails, I mean the loops and the tails, until you get your bow fluffed out. And remember, shape is very important, you know, on everything. So come through and really just fluff. Is it back on? Okay. So I started fluffing it out, guys, just like that. And I'm gonna put this at the top of my bow. These tails are a little long though. It's kind of like my hair in the morning when I first wake up, honey, it is all over the place. I woke up the other day and looked like Edward Scissorhands. So you really have to take time, grab your scissors, and come back and just really straighten up those tails and trim them a little bit. So go ahead and grab them. And I'm going to dovetail the ends real quick. Hey, Clara. I'm super excited. I heard that you were going to be um, at the retreat um, November 1st through the 4th. I cannot wait to finally meet you. Hey, Lisa. Girl, I love Edward, too. I haven't seen that movie in a minute, but I need to go and check it out. So again, I'm just dovetailing these ends right here, guys, to give it that finished look. And it really does make a difference when you take, you know, just two seconds to come on here and clip the ends. And if you don't like to dovetail, you can just cut them with a slant. It looks a lot better than just a straight edge. Okay. Hey, Sybil. Hey, Teresa. Yes, guys, I will be showing off my inner Morticia. It should be quite entertaining. I'm sure my mom will cringe. <laughs> but it's all going to be good, I promise. Okay, so I dovetailed those ends, guys. So now I'm going to apply this to the wreath. Okay, and I know everyone's coming in now and there are new watchers on here. So I'm Dylan. I'm here at Ellis Home and Garden, guys, and I'm showing you how to do a designer Christmas wreath. This is a 24-inch Scotch pine wreath, and it is going to be our item of the week, so you get 50% off. So this wreath is only $10. It's unlit, but you can go ahead and add some lights if you want, battery-operated or electrical, um, to really, again, just give it a different element in the wreath. Hey, Charlotte. Okay, so instead of putting the bow dead smack in the top, um, we're going to change it up, honey. And so we're going to put this over here to the left-hand side. And I tied this with a pipe cleaner, so we're just going to wrap the pipe cleaner around the back of the wreath and secure it um, just like that. Okay? And you want to make sure you go behind the back wire when attaching it versus on a piece of the green wreath because it will stay in place a lot better. All right, so once you have it on there, don't just leave it like that. Ugh, I mean, that is tragic. You have to go back and you have to maneuver it and place it where you want in the wreath. Okay, so I'm going to take it and twist it around just like that and get it all in place. Okay, and that's a little too far over, but the great thing about a round wreath is you can just pick it up and tilt it over. Okay. So put the bow in place, and you can kind of bend um, the tails how you want to place them, okay? And I'm doing a smaller scale wreath today to show you that you can definitely get the look that you're trying to achieve without blowing the budget, honey, and um, with using, you know, the supplies that you need and not over, over buying, okay? Hey, Loretta. Hey, Christy. Thank you so much. Hey, Melissa. Okay, so I have the bow on there. So now we're going to take some more ribbon, guys, and we're going to add that throughout the wreath before we add any other items, okay? So let me see which ribbons I'm going to add. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this brown swirl that we used in the bow and this smaller one because I'm going to overlap them just like this so you can see both, okay? Now you can do Christmas wreaths a lot of different ways and a lot of different techniques, and I use all those techniques and strategies, you know, as I get ready to decorate my Christmas wreaths. But today, I'm going to show you one of the most simple, most easy, effective methods to really get um, a great outcome um, on your wreath. Hey Pat, how are you? Hey Michelle. All right, so I'm going to cut some tails, guys. Better too long than too short. I'm dropping everything today. So this is going to be about two foot, okay? So 24 inches, and I'm going to do the same thing with that smaller champagne ribbon. So I'm going to hold it up just like that, okay? 
and you can overlap these just like this. So I have the one and a half inch on top and the two and a half inch on the backdrop, so you can see both of them. And we're gonna start on the left side here underneath the bow and use the greenery that's already on the wreath. You know, stick your tails in there and secure those just like that. So there's no glue, no burning your freaking hands off, you know, no wire. Use the existing greenery to tie these on. So I'm just gonna, you know, gather this up in my hand. Hi, Janice. They do. Can y'all see this? They both sparkle. So just lift up the corner of that bow and secure these tails that you just cut into there, just like that, okay? Now we're not gonna leave that hanging like that because this is not a hair class. We're here to do a wreath, so we're gonna take these and we're gonna um, weave them over just like this, and again, use the existing greenery on the wreath to tie them into place, okay? You can leave them together just like that, okay? Hey Doris, hey Gwen. And you know, if you look at this and you get discouraged and freak out, don't, because this is just the first steps that we have to use in order to uh, complete the wreath. And once you start adding more materials, more floral elements, which I've got some really sparkly stuff today, it's really gonna transform this and the ribbon's really gonna blend in the way, in the, in the pattern that we're doing it, okay? So I'm, we're gonna have three sets of those tails. So I'm gonna cut another one here. Again, I'm just eyeballing it, just like they do on the cooking shows with the vodka, but you know they're drunk by the end of the show. Y'all ever seen Sandra Lee? Um, she did a Halloween video one time. She's on the Food Network, and she was saying you put one shot of vodka, and she just poured the bottle in there, and by, she had half the bottle in that drink, and I was saying, I don't know who is drinking that, but honey, their esophagus is gonna be killing them. So we're gonna kinda do it like her. I'm taking a page out of her book, and we're gonna eyeball it, and I think this is about 24 inches, okay? And then take the... Um, champagne one and put it on top. Me too, Diane, but that, and don't you get kind of crazy sometimes with a shot of vodka? Girl, please, you know that with a bottle. Hey, Patricia, how are you? Hey, Lisa. Okay, so we cut another one just like this. Now, again, pinch it together, come up on the right side of the bow, and again, you're going to secure it using the existing greenery that is in the wreath, okay? Let me come up here and do that. Claire, then you ain't making me no drink, child, because I am not, no. When Josh tells me all the time, he's like, let me make you a drink, and I'm like, no, no. Last time you made me a drink, I almost ended up in the front yard, okay, on the pavement. So, never again. And you definitely ain't, if you ain't measuring, girl, you ain't making me no drink. Mm -mm. Hey, Lori, how are you? Okay, guys, so we're gonna come over to the right side now with these tails, just like this, okay? Now, I left the tails long on purpose, and you'll see why in just a little bit as we continue. So we're gonna do one more set of um, tails right here on the base, okay? These we won't need as long, so we're gonna do these about a foot and a half, okay? Same with this one. Thank you so much, Evie. I appreciate you being here, girl, and watching. Ooh, honey, someone need assistance. That would be me. They'd be paging saying, Dylan needs assistance um, if y'all made me a drink, okay? Okay, so we're going to start this, and we're going to put this one here on the base, okay? So again, tie these together just like this, and we're going to place them in the same spot we did down here, okay? Hey, Trish. Thank you so much, Michelle. Okay, and we're going to put this one down here. And I kind of have it going up just like that. Now, remember I told you, you want to cut these uh, a little bit too long so you can always go back and trim them. So we're going to trim that off right there. You know, it's just like your freaking hair. You know, I always say, you know, people have been life crisis and they go in and chop all their hair off and they get out of there and it's tragic, okay? And you're like, why don't I cut all my hair off? So the same thing applies with ribbon, you know? Cut it a little bit too long because you can always go back and trim it versus if you cut it too short, you're stuck with the Berber carpet, okay? That's what I call it, a little short carpet. So, wanna make sure that we do that. All right, so the next thing you wanna add, guys, is gonna be your floral elements. So, we're gonna use, instead of poinsettias, we have these beautiful magnolias. And a lot of people have asked me the past few weeks, what can you use in place of poinsettias? You know, I hate poinsettias. Um, you can use magnolias, and I've talked about them, and I saw these out there on the floor, 
and they're just beautiful. So let's do a, a what you don't do, okay? You don't trim this and stick it in the wreath just like this because it's not open, okay? You wanna actually um, bloom the flower just like this. So pull apart the petals and really give it a good shape, okay? And then we can go from there. Look how pretty those are. Can y'all see those? And they're embellished with the champagne glitter, which matches the color and the theme that we're doing. Hi, Mary Elizabeth. Welcome, honey. She says she is new. Well, welcome, honey, to the family. We are making a beautiful chocolate and champagne rich grapevine, not a grapevine, uh, Christmas wreath. So I'm glad you're joining us, girl. And if we have any um, more newbies, make sure y'all put your comments down below with any questions you have. Um, with your name, where you're watching from. We, leave, we love to see where you're coming from, you know, all over the world. Okay, we're gonna trim that stem off a little bit shorter. And we're gonna start placing our floral components, which is, are these magnolias, into the wreath, okay? So I've got my glue here. I'm gonna place the first one right here. Just like that. I stuck it in between those two tails. Y'all can see how pretty that looks right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab another one and do the same thing. And remember, take off those freaking trashy tags. Ugh, uh, you don't want tags hanging on your beautiful rich wreath, okay? That will be trashy, and we don't want it. Let's see, Janet, hi T Janet, Tammy, Sheila. Let's see. Me too, Clara. I love Steel Magnolias, you know. I love to get on the couch and get a good glass of wine and just sit there and cry because if you guys have not seen that movie, it's one of my favorites. And I don't understand why Dolly Parton doesn't act anymore. She was so good back in the day with all the movies, and um, I love her to death, but I wish she would be in some more movies. Okay, I'm going to trim that off. Now I'm going to put my other Magnolia right here. Hey, Gloria. put a few of these in the wreath, guys. I'm going to make my next one kind of go up here to the top. Go ahead and trim that off and open it up. Thank you so much, Lori. I appreciate your support. It means the world. It means the world. So, did everybody have a good weekend? Anything exciting happen? Let's see. Last night was, I had an install. So, I did a 12-foot tree and I did a, a customer's mantle. And um, it turned out beautiful. I've never seen a tree that big. Um, but it turned out beautiful. And um, I came home last night and watched The Voice, which it kind of sucked. Okay, like, I love The Voice. You know, I love people who can sing. But I just wasn't as impressed as usual. Um, but, you know, it comes on tonight. So maybe it'll, it'll be good for that also. All right. So we're going to add another um, flower right up here near the top. Okay, and then we've got one more I'm going to add over to this side here. Hi, Kim. Thank you so much. I just use regular hot glue, guys. You can actually take glue sticks, and you can insert them into um, a glue pot or a glue skillet, which is just like a, a warming electric skillet you can purchase at Walmart that, you know, you would put fajitas in or some kind of casserole. But if you do, honey, please send me a plate because y'all know I love to eat. Um, but you can purchase those at Walmart, guys, and just throw those glue sticks in there. It's much easier to dip and do it than to get your glue gun out and burn your hands off because I've done that, and trust me, honey, it hurts. Okay. Actually, I'm going to see. I changed my mind. That's the great thing about designing. Let's see. I have a question. Let me stop this real quick, guys. Hey, Barbara. Judy says, second visit. How long have you been designing? Your work is impeccable. Thanks, girl. I used to work at a flower shop. Uh, she's a phlebotomist. Ooh, girl. I love making new designs here at home. Well, I have been designing for, this is my ninth year. Is it my ninth year? Eighth year, okay? Eighth year. Um, you know, I started when I was a kid. I've told this before, you know, I love Christmas lights. And so I started with Christmas lights and then figured that, um, honey, I'm not stable enough to be up on a roof. And so I gave that up. And I just went home one day and I went to a Christmas store and saw beautiful trees. And I said, well, I think I can do that. And so I kind of went home and perfected over time my own technique, my own design, and um, that is really how I got started, you know? 
Uh, and the great thing, and that's what I was about to say, you know, I just changed my mind as far as how many flowers I'm going to put on here. That's the great thing about designing is it's, it's fun. You want to have fun. There's really no rules, okay? There's guidelines and techniques that I try and give you guys each week and share with you. But, you know, you do you. You, um, you know, you use what's in your mind, your creativity, and you uh, apply it to your work, and it's going to show off. You know, that's one of the great things and fun things about Designing is it's an outlet for everyone. You know, if they are having a rough day or they just need to chill out or calm down or, you know, just relax, then go design and make something pretty and it will make you feel good when you walk away from it and you'll have a good time doing it. Hey, Scott, I didn't see your name. How are you? Hey, Lisa. Scott, I have heard nothing but positive, positive things about your convention. I'm super sad that I wasn't able to be there due to scheduling conflicts, but I hope to be there next year and, um, I mean, really, the pictures look beautiful. The wreaths and, and garland that I saw looked great. So congratulations, man. It, was, it really uh, seemed to be awesome. Okay, so now we're going to start adding some florals in, guys. So let me grab one. These are the first ones that I'm going to add right here. These are available along with all the products that we're using, guys, at ellishomeandgarden.com, which is our website. You go to shop by department and everything is categorized, including these picks here. Okay, I almost took my eye out. So these are called um, 18 inch Christmas pick with glitter berries and leave um, leaves, okay? So we're gonna just cut the tag off and I'm gonna show you how we can apply these. And this will really be a game changer on your design. And the reason I picked this stem is because it's got three different elements. It's got these white berries, it's got the champagne berries, and the leaves behind it, which give it a great backdrop when adding it to your designs. Okay. Oh, hi, Chris. I haven't met you yet, but how are you? Let's see. Hey, Gary. Okay, so we're gonna cut this in half, guys. Just like this, we have two separate um, stems. Okay, and we're gonna start adding these into the wreath, guys. So, I'm gonna put some glue on it. Hey, Gail. Meets. I love these, Mary. And we're going to start right up here behind that magnolia. Oh my God, isn't that pretty? I love it. So I cut those apart so it wouldn't be so substantial. It wouldn't be so big and overpowering because, again, this is the 24 inch oval, not oval, 24 inch uh, Scotch pine wreath that's Christmas wreath. And so it is a little bit on the smaller scale and it's only 10 bucks, guys. So jump, jump on the website and get you some. Okay, we're going to put this other piece right here. So I'm cutting it apart. So it's a little more subtle. Hey, Kelly. Well, welcome, girl. I'm glad you found us. It's nice to meet you. Doesn't they look good? Oh, my God. I love those berries. When I saw them in the store the other day, I was like, I've got to freaking have them. Okay. So we're going to repeat this concept around the whole wreath. Okay. Thank you so much, Jan. Hey, Roxanne. Let me see if I can get this cut. Just like that. So again, we're going to repeat this pattern throughout the wreath with this particular stem. Thanks, Keisha. Okay. We're going to put this one right there. Ooh, honey, lost the wreath. There we go. Put that one right there. Now we're going to go back on this side. Remember, just like with the grapevine, guys, even though this is a green wreath, you know, an evergreen wreath, it is a round wreath. So you don't want your outcome to be a square, okay? <laughs> that would not be good. So follow the pattern of the wreath, which is a circular pattern. So follow that and use that as your guide, um, you know, as you continue to design and add your floral elements. Hey Lynn, me too, they make such a difference. Okay, so we've added two so far. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the third. And if you're just popping on everybody, I'm here at Ellis Home and Garden showing off their fabulous fabulous products and again all the stuff you can find on our website at ellishomeandgarden.com hi Chrissy well come on girl I cannot wait all right so now I'm going to start up here at the top also and I'm going to add a piece up here to give it some height behind the bow so again add that add that floral cake behind the ribbon to really make that ribbon pop and stand out. I'm gonna put a piece on each side. I like that. Okay, so 
Now we're gonna take our other one and fill in this area here, and then we're gonna add a few more elements. So I'm gonna show you the other great picks and stems that I have selected. And again, everything that I'm using on this video will be available on our website. Hey Christine, hey Mary, welcome. got one last piece and it's going to go right here on this side okay and as you add more elements you want to come through and adjust some of the other things that you've added on here so that it all blends together okay all right, so let me give you a recap of what we've added so far, and then we're going to continue, okay? So I've added a bow at the beginning on this 24-inch um, Scotch Pine wreath that, again, it's our item of the week, guys. So make sure you pop on our website, ellishomegarden.com, and get you one because it's today only, okay? And then I added some ribbon of our choice, which is going to be the champagne and the brown, and now I'm adding lots of fun champagne elements to really make this wreath fun and to pop, okay? So... One of my next favorite items that we're going to add to really, you know, make this wreath begin to take shape is going to be this glittered, wired maidenhair fern. So I use maidenhair fern almost on every spring or summer video or everyday arrangement, and we have it in Christmas selections also, and not just in this color, but we have it in different colors. So it's available online also, and we're going to add that on here. One other thing I want to point out while I'm thinking about it is you're probably wondering why the berries are sticking out. You know, you don't want your designs to be flat. You want them to have very good shape. So when you add elements, make sure they come out. And even though this doesn't look like you're thinking, like thinking oh my God, what's going on? You know, it's all going to flow as you begin to add more and more ingredients. You know, your outcome is really going to start to form. Hey, Mandy, how are you? Hey, Robin, Janice. Janice, this is going to be like a champagne color. It's one of my faves. I'm gonna cut this in half also. So you have two different pieces, and I'm gonna start adding this into my wreath up here near the top, okay? Hey Lisa, thank you. to the right side. Thank you so much, Mandy. I'm super excited. And I told y'all, we're moving on the 15th, so I'll be in therapy on the 16th. Just kidding. Um, but, um, you know, we started making a registry because it is our first place together, and it's a three-bedroom, three-bath townhome in Hallsville, Texas, which is about 20 minutes, maybe 15 if you fly, um, from here. And so we want to make it special, so we're having like a Christmas uh, housewarming party um, and so we, we registered at Bed Bath & Beyond so we got that done so we got us in our invites next but we're gonna have um, a friend of ours her name is Wendy and I will um, she's gonna be opening up a new bar business guys it's gonna be amazing so she's actually gonna come set up um, at our house and she's got like this cool like um, trailer not a trailer it's like an RV one of the small RVs that she has decked out and I mean it's made it super cool so we're gonna have that she's got some super fun like cocktails that are gonna be in little ornaments and you know I gotta be decorating because I can't have no raggedy tree. Um, you know, if somebody comes to my house, I can't have no stick, pencil, thin tree. I gotta have a 12 foot. So I'm gonna be working on that as soon as we move. Okay. So again, we're, adding, we're adding the maiden hair fern guys into this design. And I'm cutting it apart so that your selections are more subtle and they're not so overwhelming because this is a smaller Wreath. Okay? Give it a small wreath. Thank you, uh, Annalise. Thanks, Tammy. I'm super excited. You know, we've been together for three years, and so it's time to make that next step, which is going to be um, to live together and try not to kill each other. Um, so it's going to be super fun and exciting. But I think that it will all go very well. Okay. 
So again, I'm adding the maiden hair fern and I'm, I'm working, whoop, getting tongue tied, making my way around the wreath, okay? And I'm cutting them into smaller sections as I go. Thanks, Sandy. Girl, we are just talking about Sandra Lee from the Food Network, and your name is Sandy Lee. How crazy is that? But y'all, I do love some Sandra Lee. But I just said, she make me no drink, okay? I used to watch, um, do y'all watch Food Network? If you do, give me a thumbs up. You know, I'll always be a Paula Deen fan. They actually had this thing in her house in October. It's for how, oh, it is October. Um, you could go, it was $500 a person to her house for Halloween, and she was going to cook, and you got to meet her. There's only 400 spots, and um, I just didn't, I, it's not a time that I can, like, go and take a vacation, or else I would have been there in a heartbeat, because I love Paula Deen. But, oh, a lot of people love to cook, honey. I love, um, what's her name? Rachel Ray, also. I used to watch the 30-Minute Meals, even though I believe they weren't 30-Minute Meals, uh, but I still loved her as a person. Um, but she didn't really do this anymore. She's got her on talk show, honey, so she is busy. Busy, busy, busy. I agree, Lisa. She said everything is better with butter. Tell it, girl. Tell it, tell it, tell it. Okay, so I'm continuing to add those maidenhair fern pieces, guys, on the wreath. And again, as you do your wreath, back up, you know, step back from it and check it out from a distance because it really makes um, a difference. <gasps> Hattie, you used to work at QVC, girl. Give me a call, honey. I need to get on there. Um, I would love to meet Paula Dean. Actually, I'll give you a story about the Ellis's. You know, we go to market um, twice a year in January and in June, and they went one year, okay, and they got in the elevator and looked over, and Paula Dean was in there. I would have blacked out. So I would be like, Paula, you know, I would have died, but um, I'm so jealous. I got to see her, and I took pictures with her. So hopefully at market, you know, when I go, Sometimes she'll be like demoing her stuff. Hopefully I'll get to see her one day. Oh my gosh, yes, Pioneer Woman. She's taken over Walmart. Everything of hers you can find for sale in Walmart. Okay, so y'all see this fern is really starting to make this wreath turn out. And if y'all saw this wreath before, honey, it was a 24 inch blank wreath, okay? And it's smaller, but I, like I said, as you add uh, elements to the wreath and components, it really makes the dimensions change. You can already see the dimensions of the wreath are starting to change and really take shape, okay? So I'm going to back up here with you guys and kind of get a look at it. So I can see after backing up, I need a few more pieces of the maiden hair right here. So that's why it's always important to back up so you can see we need a few pieces right there. She's on EV, Marcia says. Hmm. Oh, Robin, you want to know where Morticia is? Honey, let me get her for you. She's right here. Let's see. Here she is, honey. Y'all are wondering where Morticia is. She's getting so heavy these days. But she is here. She is ready for Halloween. She's been dressed like this for a few weeks. And if y'all missed the announcement, um, next Tuesday is going to be my Halloween video here. At Ellis. So I'm going to dress as Morticia. So this should be entertaining. Um, my mom's probably cringing and so is Josh, but it's going to be funny. Okay, so y'all stay tuned. Next Tuesday, it's going to be a Halloween video and me and Morticia will be here to have some, you know, make something fun for you um, for Halloween. Okay? All right, we're going to tell her goodbye. She needs a little rest, honey. She had a long weekend. <gasps> okay. You know, she loves all the support. Morticia does. <clears throat> Let's see. Hi, Vicky. Everybody can't wait. Hey, that's Halloween episode. I'll be known for that for the next year. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Oh, I love Guy Fieri, guys. He, I can't watch that show, though. Dive, dive ins and drives because um, it makes me hungry. I just want to go eat. Yes, Claire, I'm not wearing a gray wig, honey. I'm wearing a cute little bob. I feel like my face would look better with a bob. So I'm going to wear that. <laughs> oh, it's going to be funny. Y'all watch. And I got a witch hat or something I could put on, too. Okay. 
Okay. Hi, Pam. I'm still, everyone, I'm just going to announce it one more time. They're all asking if I'm going to leave Ellis. I'm not going to be working here any longer during the week, but I'll still be here on Tuesdays, guys. I'm, I'm so excited to be partnering with Ellis to do their video is still on Tuesday at 10 a.m. But in the meantime, guys, you can find me at Designs by Dylan, my Facebook page. I'm going to be doing lots of great things over there. But you still got me here on Tuesdays. I'm super excited. Ooh, I missed the truck. I'm super excited to be here, guys, because I get to work and showcase such amazing, fabulous products. And again, all the stuff is available at EllisHumminGardens.com. No, Carol, I'm not shaving. It, it's going to be Morticia, but with a with a. A little flare, okay? Because I can't get, I can't do the beard, guys. If I get rid of my beard, I look like I'm four, and um, those years are over. So I've got to keep it. Now, everyone, want me to shave? I'm sorry, guys. I love you, but there will not be any shaving. Can't do it, okay? <laughs> I can't. I would feel naked. It's kind of like you know, some people have longer hair and they feel naked if they cut it all off. That's how I would feel about my beard. Uh. Oh, well, thank you, Nancy. Thank you so much. Okay. So, I'm gonna add one more piece up here near the top, and then we're gonna add a couple other things to finish this baby off, okay? As you see, I'm fluffing each stem because you don't want it to all stick together, okay? of the maiden here. So if you guys like these colors I've chosen, give me a thumbs up and let me know because, um, you know, I wanted to do something different that wasn't red. All right, I got glue everywhere. All right, so let's back up and give a look, okay? Check out what it looks like. It's really starting to come together. I'm super excited. I'm gonna hop to this side for a second so I can straighten this up. Okay, so next guys, we have this glittered American cedar. Okay, so who loves cedar, honey? I love fresh cedar for Christmas. You can put it all over the place. This is a glittered one. It's got the same color scheme, so you can see it right here. They're only $6.99, 40% off all of our floral, um, for Christmas floral. So pop on the website and check that out. Oh, hey, Melody, how are you? Well, send me pictures, guys. I would love to see all of your creations, especially since we're getting ready for um, Christmas is coming up. So I can't wait to see what everyone puts together in their home. Um, I am going to do, you know, in Josh and I's home, I'm going to do a uh, flock tree, a 12-foot flock tree, and I'm going to add red and white to it. So it's going to be really red and white. No peppermint, really. It's going to be more of an elegant look. But um, I, I feel like I just can't shy away from red in my own house. I did it a couple years, and I loved it. But when I think of Christmas, the first thing you think of is red, and red is actually my favorite color. Hi, Diana. She's coming to us from Laredo. Hey, girl. Okay, so we're going to start adding in this particular cedar stem to really finish this wreath off, guys. Okay? And I'm actually cutting it apart because I don't need... Um, it in such big chunks. Again, I want it to be subtle. So I'm going through and I'm adding, you know, where I think it needs to be. Hi, Brenda. I agree. I agree. Oh, Kathy, honey, she's going to be on the 1st of November, guys. If you don't know what she's talking about, um, I'm going to be... Um, um, demonstrating a floral arrangement at the Longview Wreath Retreat, guys, with Jackie and um, Terry, and I hope uh, Scott's going to be there, and, and Clara, and a bunch of people, and Regina. So you want to make sure you pop in and get your ticket, guys, at JackiesWreath.com. It's November 1st through the 4th, and you can go to ellishomegarden.com to purchase your wreath arrangement, or your arrangement kit that I put together for you guys, because it's a make and take. So everything you um, do there, you get to take with you home. Hey, Colette, how are you? Girl, I hope you're having a good day. so much Lisa all right so again let's back up check her out 
and keep adding these last few pieces to really give it that finished look. Oh, Teresa will be there too. Carrie, what you doing, girl? Hey, Damon, how are you? Oh, Damon's going to be there too, guys, so I get to meet a lot of people finally. You know, it's been a minute, and I haven't got to meet people. I keep missing them. Like, when they come here, I'm not here, or something happens, so I'm super excited. So, again, guys, that's November 1st through the 4th. Hop on JackiesReese.com to get your ticket, because seating is limited, and we would, we would like to meet every single one of you. Um, it's always fun to put a face with a name, you know? Hi, Gary. Thank you so much. here. Alright, I'm going to add a couple more pieces in. And you're probably saying, you know, one thing I didn't add on this on purpose is Christmas ornaments, you know. I wanted to show you that, you know, if you have some pieces at home um, that are florals, you can definitely make a stunning wreath without using ornaments if you wanted to. Hey Heidi, how are you? Alright guys, so we're going to back up again. And check it out all right well I think that about wraps up this one let me get up close and show you I want to see up close let me see if I can hold this steady honey okay so this is up close we started with that beautiful bow up there guys and then we added some ribbon and lots of champagne colors to complete this beautiful wreath and again this is a 24 inch scotch pine wreath that's our item of the week and it is only ten dollars for the wreath and then you can come through and add all of those great materials to it to really get that beautiful finished look let me set this down honey without getting too crazy there we go all right all right guys so again everything on this particular wreath is available at ellishomeandgarden.com so make sure you check it out and make you a beautiful wreath guys and send us photos because we would love to see what you do with our products okay so also, I want to announce one more time, guys, that I will no longer be working at Ellis, you know, during the week, but I will still be partnering with them, guys, every single Tuesday at 10, just like normal, and we'll be doing our videos, guys. But in the meantime, you know, if I'm not here at Ellis and you want to touch, and you want to catch up with me, I've got lots of exciting things going on at Designs by Dylan, which is on Facebook. That's my, my business page, guys. So hope to see all of you there. And again, uh, I'm going to be so sad not being able to be here every day with Ellis. I mean, it's just been such a great i've had such a great time guys ellis has been very very good to me and i appreciate all of their support during my transition um you know to my own business but i'm happy to say that we are still going to be working together and i'm still going to be here on tuesdays to hang out guys and showcase their fabulous products as well as go to market and that way i have a hand you know in what we get because i like to pick out and select wonderful items um, for ellis that we can use on these videos on tuesdays because i only want the best thing to be available for you guys and again all those products that we use on these videos not only today but in the in the future and in the past videos um, you can find them on our website at ellishomeandgarden.com so I hope to see you on my page guys I hope to see you here every Tuesday at 10 a.m. because we're gonna continue to have a great time and next Tuesday is the Halloween um, Halloween show okay so I'm gonna be dressed as Morticia let me get her again okay so, if y'all don't know who Morticia is, she's kind of like my little sidekick here. Well, she's kind of a big sidekick, but she's usually dressed very inappropriately. But she actually got herself together today, and she's very festive. Um, but I will be dressed as Morticia next Tuesday, okay, after a lot of requests. And so, it should be freaking funny. <laughs> I hope Dina can keep it together while we're doing the video. And I'll be making something super fun. So, next Tuesday at 10, I hope to see you guys. Check me out on Designs by Dylan, and we will go have fun. Let's see. Put her back where she was. All right, guys. I hope everyone had a fabulous, fabulous time and have a blessed weekend. And uh, everyone have a blessed day, okay? Come see us here at Ellis. We've got lots of fun products. And again, one thing I want to talk to you about. Oh, my God. I almost forgot. Next, or this um, Saturday, guys, is going to be our uh, Black Friday sneak peek sale. So what that means is this Saturday only, everything that we're going to have on sale on Black Friday, which is amazing killer prices, is going to be offered on this Saturday um, which is the 27th, okay? So this Saturday, Black Friday sale, it's a sneak peek sale, something you don't want to miss. So make sure you check it out, guys. And don't forget that this wreath that we use today is our item of the week, so it's only 10 bucks. And you can get that on ellisomegarden.com. All right, I'm gonna scan the wreath up a little bit, guys. But everyone have a fabulous day, and we will see you next week for some Halloween fun. All right, bye, guys.